Medic! Hello and welcome to another video. I'm handheld at the moment, I'm not setting the uh, tripod up because time is against me. Invariably in England, in winter, our daylight hours are so short and I'm rushing to get to the top of here and beyond to set up my wigwam. I was going to say catch a sunset but the clouds have come in. I'm, but I've just had to take a layer off mate because I'm gassed out from walking all that way up there look. So I'm not doing much talking to the camera because I don't want to be just gassing out on camera. <laughs> like that. I'm, not, I just, I'm on my way up here so... We'll keep going and just hopefully these clouds will clear and I won't get enveloped. Because last time I was here I got enveloped, got my ass handed to me. So hopefully this time the weather gods will be smiling on me. Come on. Medic! Look at this. Even though I'm, time's against me, I'm still doing all this. Unreal. Got a bead on, mate. Jeremy bead on. Glad I've gone lightweight with backpack and that and equipment. Always shut your gates. Yeah, this is meta. You'll see why. There you go. <laughs> You've just seen it live. You've just seen magic. What's that? It's all to shut gate, I guess. Well, I've said before to many a farmer, why don't you shut the rest of your fence, mate? Whee! There you go. For those that you're, for those of you that are new here, you've just witnessed a latch and locks live. Link to my Instagram latch and lock page. Go give it a follow if you uh, if you love and respect latches and locks. Not a joke. <laughs> what? have we got here now I don't have my ice axe or my crampons so we're gonna have to take care of this bit and you just have to uh, go on you take a knee never be ashamed to take a knee oh close see you later There's the cane, Ryu and Cairn. Should we stand on her? Whee! <laughs> there you are, look. Not too shabble. Not too shabby at all. Weather forecast lied to me, it's a bit overcast in, as far as the sky goes, but it's affording me some really nice 360 views. Beautiful mate. And it's still Liam Wallace. Ah, it's getting cold, mate. It's getting cold. Right, this is as good a place as any. Got some lovely views. Beautiful. The trusty Lanshan 2. There she is, look yeah. There she be. Oh mate. Long time no see. Like seeing an old friend, an old trusty friend, get on it. <laughs> the Lanshan, too, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Amazing tent. I know for a fact there'll still be grass in here from Cape Wrath Trail, <laughs> maybe some dead ticks. <laughs> Clouded over, so I'm not going to get a sunset again. Right, I mean, I've got the gossamer gear. I don't even can't remember what it's called, mate. The summer or other. Uh, what are you called? Why haven't you got your name on you, you silly sausage? Anyway, it has this 
back support is removable. Doubles up as a great little sit pad, nail pad, handstand pad, elbow pad, crotch pad, if you're that way inclined. Nice little addition. Right, get it in here, let's get it all done from in here, as you can in such a big tent. Look at all that, look, sand! It's sand! From Sandalwood Bay! Oh, be still my beating heart. Look at it, actual sand. Getting nostalgic about grains of sand. So, run down the tent. Here's my trusty Lanshantu. Doesn't she look grand? Yes, she does. What have I done to mod it? Well, I've seam sealed it and replaced the plastic hooks with these metal hooks that are uh, just a lot stronger. Um, got that on each side and put my sort of ridge line up with a lantern on it there, look. So that's my porch, <laughs> that's me grossing my gear backrest, aka my porch. I've got two beverages, we've got a, what, something to eat, a vegetable chipotle chilli with rice, water, and then the boudoir, look, I've got my bag, and it's just the classic, look, the Rab Ascent 900, I say this every time, but this is just for people who are just tuning in now, if they are. And if you are, hello, welcome. Uh, don't turn off just yet, because I do come across quite annoying at first, but you'll warm to me, I think. You will warm to me. <laughs> I get better the longer I go, so lower your standard, lower your, lower your expectations at first, and then uh, we'll get along just fine later on down the line. The X-Firm Neo Air, that's my large, that's the large... Uh, Pillar, Trekology pillar, and then just my little squared away bits and pieces, my possibles bag, my clothes, and a little towel sponge there at the back of my head because that's where it'll get condensation, if anywhere, where I'm breathing. So in the morning, I can just grab that and give it a quick wipe. Blending in beautifully, Belinda Carlisle. Woo! Hey, look, running through fells, look, fell, he's fell running. I'm fell running. Oh, look at her from that angle, look. Kurt Angle. Yeah, right, I'm all set up. I'm a little bit wounded, because the only reason I've come, I came to lakes, is because the forecast had said, oh, which way am I going here? This way. The forecast had said that it was going to be uh, clear. And so I thought, oh, I'll get a nice sunset. I haven't had a, a good sunset in Lake District for a while. And now uh, look at it. It's all nice and visible, but all, all this low-lying cloud is just thick. So it's blocked any ch Oh, well, I'll show you my tent from here. It looks nice, but it's blocked any chance of getting a good sunset. <laughs> but it's worth it for this look. Look how cute she is! <laughs> Worth it. Wor it. Fell running again, look. So, so I'm just going to go for a walk. It's what, well, it's what I am doing now. I'm on one. I'm on a walk, mate. Have a little mooch about. And, uh, yeah, so, I mean, it's totally thick over with cloud as well up there because I thought, well, because the forecast said it was so going to be so clear, I thought, well, we'll get some, we'll get some nice lunar shots and some stars and everything. And ah, sorry, <laughs> so it's done that again. Am I going to have to turn this into a Q and A from the tent where I talk about fighting animals and that? Hopefully, clouds will disperse and we'll get a bit of, we'll get a bit of something, something. I'm running around like a madman. I'm just going to tire myself out, I guess, and get an early night. <laughs> oh, we're losing light, mate. But these truly are some of my favourite times of li in life. When um, 
I've put the effort in, I've climbed up into up into hills and then the bag's off, the tent's set up, everything's squared away and that's when the fun can happen, that's when you can just meander about and have a little explore with, you know, it's like the shackles are off, the shackles of your bag are off. <laughs> so you can just, I don't know mate, just yomp through the, through the fells and I thoroughly enjoy it. I'm running, look. <laughs> the mountain goat. I want to go over here and see if there's some good views of this, uh, of this lake anyway. Nice little jaunt back at the wigwam now. Look how green it's getting. It's getting now so behind all that there'll be a sun a sunset somewhere but it looks like it's the weather's rolling in oh, i hope i don't get caught out mate it's supposed to be calm on the on the mountain forecast it was like oh, calm clear skies it's already done me on sky so if it roughs up a bit the lanchan too can i mean i've had it out in some some ghastly weather but I will have to lower the hiking poles so that everything touches the floor so that the wind will just get under it and I end up in there. For now I'll leave it up though because it's a lovely little breeze going through, stops condensation. But there's uh, not much more I can do out here I'm afraid. Things are getting a bit moody. Smells nice. So this is my meth burning stove. Methylated spirits, not meth as in drug. And I've got this little thing here that you just, pretty simple, goes over the top like that, look. And then you can just, just sort of put your cup on it. <laughs> Sorted mush. Should we see if we can get a lit? There's not a lot of liquid in there actually. I hope I've got enough to boil. All new water, a couple of dry bits of grass. Oh no. Houston! Oh, I've brought the wrong lighter. I've brought the wrong lighter. I've got two orange lighters and one of them's full and one of them's empty. I've brought the empty one. Oh lord, lord. Hopefully. Just the spark will do. Come on, brother. No, no. A thousand times no. Will the sparks alone do it? I don't think they will, you know. With it being that cold. I'm absolutely mortified. Come on, be more flammable. Oh, it's cacked it. It's cacked it, hasn't it? It's cacked it. It's, it's got no juice in it whatsoever. Sound, mate. <laughs> Sound. Alright, okay. Think about it. Put my glove on so I can really wheel it. Oh, I soaked my glove. No, 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 no. F it. Absolutely F it. Done in. I'm done in. I'm up. Ah, oh, mate. Ah. <laughs> I can't do it. Oh. Right, this is. Okay. Look around all bags and that. I guess I've got a little lighter somewhere, please. Okay, I got it. Oh. oh, I took that metal bit off and then you can jazz this bit around. And I got one, look at it, it's empty. 
proper empty. I got one last little bit out of it. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! <laughs> Note to self, that lighter is done in. We brought it back from the brink of disaster. Now look at us, living La Vida Loca. Oh shit. Actually gets a little bit of heat off it. <laughs> Which is nice, and I'll tell you what's nice. It's nice to not have to listen to the sound of a jet engine taking off. It's like a gas stove. <laughs> this one's quite mellow. Can you see? I don't care, mate. I'm just buzzing that it's going. Look. Oh, whoa, it's spitting a bit. It's all right. You're all right, mate. You're all right. Let's get it on. Oh, that's a nice warmth. So now, I mean, it's not optimum. But it's started to come out of the little holes around the, around the top of it. On you go, singed all my hairs. It's not very stable, that's the only thing. Will that stay? It's gonna have to. It's gonna have to. Whoa, caught that just in time. That was just in timber time. That was falling at other. Ah, it's in my glove. <laughs> Right, I'm sick of this. Everything keeps falling off it, and everything seems to be hard work, mate, in this one. And it's just other stuff, mate. I'm a bit, I'm a bit pissed off, if I'm honest. I'm a bit pissed off. Because <laughs> if I'm honest with you, I'm just upset that. Um, the mountain forecast has done me dirty. Second time it lakes on bounce, it's done me dirty. <laughs> uh, so I was supposed to have like clear skies so that I could get a, some nice shots. So do like, I enjoy me. Uh, I just enjoy it, mate. Like out there now, mate, it's just pea soup out there. You can't see now. Not a single star, I can't see moon. Oh, it's wounding, mounding, mounding. Because my time is, you know, I plan these these trips meticulously, and my time is precious, as everyone's is, I'm sure. But so it is a bit of a nightmare when they get the weather wrong, and you just you're like, well, what can I? I'm just there's a lot I could have done, but now I can't. And it's changed, I've checked it, and it's saying it's going to be cloudy tomorrow morning as well, so there's no sunrise. So I apologise for all you scenery, scenery aficionados. Um, there isn't any. So that's that. I'll have to just make do with it. Uh, <laughs> vegetable chipotle chilli. Oh well. There's pros and cons of using uh, meths burners. One of the cons, I mean, it is more, I find it's a lot more dangerous. Because if you spill that over and it all just goes, it, bit of a mare. I've seen it go over, my mate knocked one over in his uh, hammock set up and it, <laughs> it went everywhere, flames everywhere. It takes a lot longer as well, but when you're on the side of it, well, you know, when you're up a mountain, you've got all the time in the world, it doesn't really matter. So I don't mind that, because it's nice, because one of the plus sides is it kicks off some nice heat. So you can just warm yourself by it. It's a nice noise, it's flickering flame. It's a lot more mellow. I wouldn't like to use it on multi-day hikes because I would I would get very frustrated when I just want me to, you know, I just want my meal and to get to bed and be taking too long. It's lighter than taking a gas stove, I would say. Especially for the one-nighters when you just need to fill your Trangier up with as much, you know, as much fuel as you can get into your Trangier. And that'll do you for your meal. Oh, you tell you what, it's nice. It's warming my digits up beautifully. 
Always look on the bright side of life. Are you boiling or not? Because you're testing my patience, bro, bruv. You're testing my patience, bro. Just give it some light there. All right, we're going in. And now it says to fill, fill it up to fill, never it up to the corresponding letter, which in this case is B. And that's the sort of content we've got now. Now that we can't, we don't have any skies. Give her a bit of a stirring. Cut me with fire on and that. Always getting to bottom corners, mate. There's not worse and you've just had your meal and you get to the bottom and you've got a big old dry patch. <laughs> Crunchy dry patch at the bottom. No, thank you. I've tempted just to well, took that back there, look, for eight minutes. And then I'm uh, half tempted just to leave that fire on because it's ever so warm and nice it's heating the whole tent up delicious but is that a good idea to have a naked flame in the tent you don't want to push your luck do you no you don't you don't want to push your luck so we'll have that out I think off with that bit and then we'll snuff it out look and that's it, snuffed out. Screw lid on. Is it still warm? It's not even, not even hot. How quick that was. Also very easy to make your own out of a can if you, if you want. Um, I've made my own that I sometimes bring out with me. I'll leave a link for that video here if you want to learn how to make a, uh, they call it a penny can stove out of your favourite pop or alcoholic beverage can then you can check out that video there <laughs> get me bag on me it's nippy <laughs> who'd have thought it nippy up here nippy turn nipsy hustle right let me have a little taste of this oh. Vegetable chipotle chili with rice. Thank you, please. Let's have a little look with light. Have a little look. They're not made to be pleasing to the eye. Let's get into it, mate. Mm -hmm. Ooh. That's quite spicy. Spicy. Smoky, or smoking for it's spicy, smoky, mm. and warm. What more can you ask for? Beauty, beauty. Ah, I'm gonna drink my beers. I don't fancy it. <laughs> I'm on a bit of a tear, aren't I? With fucking not drinking. If the mood doesn't take me, I'm not just going to drink because I've got them, just for the sake of it. The weather and the cloudy sky sort of took the wind out of my sails, and so... I just don't fancy it, mate. don't fancy a drink. There's no for me to talk about. <laughs> I've got no kit to show you. Well, no, I've got no bits of kit to show you that you haven't, that you haven't seen already. I don't have any questions to answer. I don't feel like telling a story or out. I don't feel like being that entertaining, really. Well, hopefully this forecast might be wrong. And in fact, let's not hold out for weather anymore. It's a goner. It's a write-off. So let's just appreciate the fact that it's a write-off. <laughs> and get on with our lives. Good night then, I guess. I'm not even going to go... Well, I'll go to bed in a bit, but... I'll turn you off. It's just a tube getting all lights set up. Right, unless some mint or shit happens, I'll uh, I'll see you on the morrow. Morning glampers. One of them ones, mate. One of them ones. Kept checking out the tent at night. Pea soup all evening. And now it is even worse. Everything's soaking wet. Oh, mate, the condensation is...
real talk mate, look at that. I don't know if you can see how wet that is. Everything's sodden. <laughs> it's soaked through my sleeping bag as well, wet. Oh, Dripping. It's like it's raining in here. Not happy bunny. I think it's probably a bit much for the old uh, sponge as well. I have to drain that out. But it's out there, it's miserable. Uh, there wasn't a breath of wind, so that's why there's so much condensation and so much low-lying cloud as well. Only reason I come up into fells and mountains is really like, I like my hiking and stuff, but to come and spend the night, it's just for the skies. And when that gets shut out and you don't get it, it's like, well, I could have just been at home in my bed or in woods by a fire or whatever. You know, there's a lot of hardships you put up with in this, uh, this time of year. You know, it's tough hiking and it's cold so it's not like you can sit out for too long or whatever especially if there's no views so you sacrifice a lot to get these views and these skies and this scenery and when it doesn't happen it's just a bit of a it's just a bit of a gut shot and um, the mountain weather forecast did me Dirty on this one again. Ugh, well, I'll get all my stuff together and keep it as dry as I possibly can, and uh, and then get 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 off the hills. <laughs> Let's get up. Look at that, mate. That is. <clears throat> it sucked. <laughs> Like a river. There. Look at it. Cack, mate. Can't <laughs> see how. Forget it. Forget it. Oh, electrical gear is getting soaked, man. It's it's pea soup in it. It's cauliflower broth up here. You can't see niche, mate. I'm a bit sad about it. I know I've mentioned it. <laughs> Keep going on about it. Uh. I mean, they got the wind bit right. Zero wind. I was going to go and explore some crags this morning, but one of the reasons I was going to do it was because of the views from on there, but it's kind of pointless now. <laughs> Oh well. I mean, it is rare that I get ones like this. Where it's a complete white out like this. I'm going to have to put you away because the camera's keeps... camera keeps doing weird stuff, but that's because it's saturated. And it just keeps getting wetter. I hope it's not bust full time. I'll have to get it home and get it in a bag of rice or whatever they do. <laughs> uh, there it is. Sorry. I don't think I've done one like this before, like where it's just been a... I can't bring you any scenery or views and I feel like I've let you down a little bit. Oh. Sorry, I don't even know if I'll post this, but if I have, I'm sorry. Forgive me. But I hope you found some sort of entertainment within it. I hope, anyway. But I'm going to uh, pop you in my bag anyway and navigate my way out of this. I don't want to, uh, I don't want to push me luck. Uh, yeah. Love to you all. Take care and I will see you soon.